Okay, today we're going to try to remove the stylus gently out of a SJT400, which also works basically for any JK model. So first thing you want to do is remove the Phillips head screws on the back, and then from the back lift up and pull backwards, and then gently lift it up and away. Now, you've got a white and a black gear. This black gear is very fragile. It's designed to break before everything else, just in case. So this gear you want to push this way, the white one. The black one you want to pull towards you with your fingers, like this. Okay. At the same time, I'm going to zoom in a little maybe. these two gears. Okay. Okay. Okay, once you get it in between the two bars right here, you're gonna want to grab yourself a little screwdriver. Gently pry this tab off, like so. Flip the door up. Pull backwards, tip up, and pull it out. If it's a Bally one, it'll say Bally. Oops, sorry. It'll say Bally on the barcode. This one is not a Bally, obviously. To insert it, do the opposite. The back end first, then the nose. Gently close the hatch. You have to lift up with the screwdriver, pry it backwards. Now, if you turn the play around, it should return automatically home, but I'm gonna thumb it back anyway just to be safe. So, push the two gears together instead of apart, it should go back home. Like so. Don't want to push too hard. Okay, I'm going to disconnect the camera here while I'm at it. And right here is where the function load belt is. You remove this Phillips head screw and this Phillips head screw and the whole cage will come off with the gear train and you can remove the belt and it's probably got a lot of goop in there the belt might have melted clean it all up clean the gears put a new belt on put the whole assembly back together sorry my big thumbs in the way and you're home free that's the only belt in the whole player now I'm gonna try to get this line back up here okay putting the cover on is a little tricky spread it a little bit to avoid catching anything then you want to push it together and forward oops and then down oops I have a piece of plastic sticking out in the way of course see doesn't matter how many times you do it it doesn't always go the first try so, okay, there we go there's a little lip under here that this has to go on top of so that's why you have to kind of tip it and squeeze there we go 
and then put the two screws in the back. I leave the two screws off personally in case anything inside the player happens. I can quickly gain access to it, but that's not for everybody.